Courtney, I want to ask you now about the Miami Dolphins. They seem to always start out the season hot and then finish it not so hot. So what do they need to do to reverse that trend and actually finish this thing this year? I don't want to simplify this, but how about win some games in December? Yeah. You know, four and ten in December and January under Mike McDaniel. That's not great, and that hurts their playoff positioning. You don't want those road games in January. We know that it didn't work out with them against Buffalo. It's certainly in that frigid cold, which I think Jeff Darlington is still thawing out from in Kansas City. Didn't work out for them there either. They have the ninth easiest strength of schedule based on their opponent's win-loss record from last year. So this is where you've got to make your hay early on in the season the way that they did last year. Yeah, early on, yes. But that, that last six games you see here, that's rough. Those are all, we believe, contending teams. And look at the, at Green Bay in late November. Uh, at Cleveland in late December and in New Jersey in early January. Those are going to be some cold games, Mike T. Yeah, I've been there. And uh, look, as, as Courtney <laughs> mentioned, like they'll have an opportunity to hopefully close the deal. Yeah, I mean, that, that was the thing they weren't able to do last year. Uh, and we'll see if they can get it turned around this year uh, under Mike McDaniel. So, uh... okay. So that was some hard hitting analysis right there. You know, how about win some games? Oh, that's so, okay. I didn't think of it like that. Oh, okay, cool. Just win some games. The, the question to me is, the answer to me is, is, is actually simple, but um, maybe not as simple as uh, whoever the heck that was made it sound to be. Um, the, the key for them to finish the season strong is to learn how to play off, you know, learn how to play more physical games that aren't relying on flashy, splash, big plays. To me, that's where the Dolphins go wrong. They can do such amazing things. They have such speed and have such big play threats. But the problem is, is that when you get into the playoffs, when the weather gets colder, more miserable, windier, rainer, and things get more physical, you can't rely on those big plays as much. And when those big plays aren't there, like in the freezing cold, then the offense is like, well, what the heck? We don't know what to do. And that is a problem. So they need to learn how to play more smaller football they need to play learn how to play more physical move the chains football and to me it is really that straightforward it can't be all about the motion all about the magic all about the big plays it has to be about the little things about good situational football they need to learn how to win a game 21 to to 19 whatever it, you know whatever it may be they, they need to be able to do those things because those big splashy big time 20 30 plus yard plays they happen less and less the deeper you get into the season whether it be because of injuries whether um you're getting the best of the best effort you can from the opposing teams because they're either fighting for a playoff spot or they're fighting for a division a, a wild card you know whatever it may be then of course obviously in the playoffs then you're you're getting everyone's best effort and it's just it just it intensifies things. And we know this too, historically, that games in the air, you know, passing games, they don't travel well, especially in the playoffs and in bad weather. And that's what playoffs is. Playoffs, you rely more on your run game. You're going to rely more on the offensive and defensive lines to kind of get you through this. And that's why we saw um, in the in the game against... Um, the Chiefs last season, you know, last season of the playoffs. And again, that was a very tough situation for both teams and, and definitely the Dolphins. And a, a lot of people got mad at me because they said that I was making excuses for the Dolphins. And so I won't get all into that. But you could see how that is like a perfect example. That's an extreme example because the weather was so freezing cold. But when you took away some of these big flashy plays, the speed of the game, the Dolphins were just kind of like, we don't know what to do in this situation. Like, what do we do? How do we score points? And again, it was hard for the Chiefs, but the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes were still able to do the little things that were ultimately able to get them to win that game. And the Dolphins just didn't know how to do that. They just didn't. There's no, there's really no other way to slice it. It was just kind of like every time, you know, the, they, the offense had the ball, it was just kind of like, all right, hope for the best. 
you know, hopefully someone just catches the ball and you can get a first down. I guess if we can get a handful of first downs, like maybe we could kick a field goal. Like you, you just didn't know what to expect. And, or, and a part of you was watching and they were like, maybe Tyreek Hill could break free and have like a 30 yard, you know, catch or something. You were just like, you were just kind of hoping to be bailed out. Right. And that's not the way how you could win football, because when you look at a team like the Kansas City Chiefs, they were never hoping to be bailed out. They just knew we need to be smart with the football. We need to we need to move the chains when we can. We can't turn the ball over um, when we can. When, when we are in the red zone and we can get a touchdown, let's get it. If not, again, we're not going to force the uh, the, you know, force it. We're going to kick a field goal if we need to. Right. Like they were it was just very smart, situational football. And that, that was the difference maker. And they did that, honestly, against the Bills, against the, the Kansas City, uh, against the uh, Baltimore Ravens, and then against the 49ers, right? And so it, it clearly worked. They didn't, they didn't have the luxury of all their big, splashy plays. Although, when they needed it, when they need Travis Kelsey to make an amazing catch or a diving catch or whatever it may be, they were able to do that. To me, it just felt like the Dolphins were, it was just all or nothing, right? It was either Tyreek Hill is going to go for 10,000 yards, let's go, or it was just like, what do we do? I don't know what to do. And that's and that, to me, is kind of the problem. Um, so to me, the way how they how they can finish the 2024 20, season strong is to learn how to be more physical, do the smaller things more consistently, and actually build your identity based off of that. I think they got to flip their identity upside down. The identity needs to be like, yes, we can do this crazy, amazing stuff. Yes, we can be the fastest, most exciting team out there. But that's not why we're winning our games. We have that, and it's a huge part of why we win. But look at all the foundational components we do, both offensively and defensively. I know I've only talked more about offensive uh, offense right now um, because – um to me that is you're going the, the dolphins need to be an offensive forward team um but that doesn't mean the defense doesn't have a role either but in, in terms of what's really losing them the games in the in the, um uh in, late in the season and into the playoffs to me it hasn't been defense um it's it's more like offense the offense is what stagnates and it's just they're the ones that struggle more than anything so but those are just my thoughts I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think? What do you think the Dolphins need to do to finish the 2024 season strong? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.